The National People's Party candidate for chairman of Brikama Area Council, Sidi Sise, launches manifesto on Tuesday. Sise, who was born and raised in Bruford, called his manifesto the People's Manifesto and said, it is aimed at improving the well-being of everyone in the West Coast region. The manifesto, according to the campaign, is based on a deep understanding of the economic and social characteristics of the area, as well as complex and interconnected challenges of economic, social and environmental issues. The manifesto also offers a brief overview of the main challenges and opportunities facing the Brikama Area Council and sets out a bold but practical policy platform for addressing the challenges. Ah, Italy a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses qui ont été faites. Il a fait des choses the council has a greater responsibility to ensure that basic social services are available to all, regardless of their income or location. This is especially important in areas with high levels of inequality, where the poorest and most deprived districts may be disproportionately affected by a lack of access to services. APRC Regional Chairman Karamokoli said, the manifesto is a binding agreement between the people of West Coast Region and their candidate. We are very proud that and we are ready anywhere we can present our candidate and be way what and you call the candidate among the lot is the best because I'm also willing to go all the others they are coming to the council blindly but at the moment and you can willing me to go and if in the canon and jay because near manifesto in GB I I so many sectors lemma I administration of Mali I, I staff soul Mali, I finance Mali, I development Mali, I na waste Mali. So why Muntani and the councillor challenges Babi Ye won't waste less. Among the priorities in his manifesto is to improve the efficiency of existing boreholes and construct new ones, especially in rural areas, support extension of pipe water to underserved urban settlements, provide cattle drinking points where fishable at boreholes to ease challenges faced by cattle herders, support the provision and extension of electricity in areas not connected or underserved, restore dysfunctional streetlights, and provide them in areas without light. The NPP candidate CDC says the manifesto is a social contract between him and the people of West Coast region. Alhamdulillah, we don't come into this for money. We don't come to this for privilege. We don't come to this for grandstanding. We are here to give you a social contract. This is a social contract between us and West Coast. We are telling this what we're going to do. It's not about money. It's not about position. It's not about the privileges. When people looked at me, they said I've lost weight. That's the beginning. That is the beginning. Because whatever you get yourself into, and you are real about it, it's so on your face. Bekama Area Council is the fastest growing municipality in the country and has the largest share of the country's population. Most of the inhabitants earn their livelihood through farming, horticulture, petty trading and fishing. The poverty rate is 51.2%, which is higher than the national average of 48.6%. CDC will battle it out in the next Saturday's election with opposition United Democratic Party candidate Yankuba Dabo, independent candidate Ahmed Jite, among others. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Bubba Gajigo.